Um, probably, uh, probably when I, I finished school, so I was playing at school. Um, didn't play any representative teams or anything. Um, like we, when I was at school, we had a, a really good manly rep team that I was in that played in for a while for from about under eleven or twelve to about under fifteen or sixteen. Um, we had guys like Michael Hooper and uh, Ben Volvola, um, who plays the CG. Um, another guy, Sam Lane, whose dad was assistant coach of the Wallabies when they won the World Cup. Tim Lane and, and played a bit of Super Rugby in that. So um, we had a good rep team, and so. Um, but even then, I also sort of just just playing rugby just for fun with them, um, and then didn't make any sort of representative teams at school or anything. Um, so I, when I finished school, I just just travelled for six months um, around Europe. Just got like a, a train pass um, with two of my mates, and we just sort of backpacked around Europe for six months. And then when uh, when I got home, when I was about nineteen. Um, was just playing clubs for Manly and they had a national academy at the time. They'd abandoned all the, each super club, um, they got rid of their own academies and just made like one national academy. Um, and I made that. Um, and then that's probably when I thought, okay, maybe they can give it a, give that a crack. And uh, there's some good names in that as well. I think that, that was where I met like Will Skelton and um, uh, guys like Jed Holloway is, is now playing for Waratahs. There's a few, few guys in that who sort of come from schoolboy teams and that so I thought maybe that's when I'm I'm in the mix a bit there and and um that was sort of my first time really doing uh like proper weight training and and all that sort of stuff sort of proper fitness fitness programs and and really getting the body um into the right shape so I guess that's when I probably thought maybe maybe could be on something here and I can maybe give it a good crack cool and so when you're in high school, like no look-ins with rep teams, and like why? Why was that? Um. Well, I think um, in my early years of school, uh, I never, I never. Play. I think my first team um, when I was in year seven, I was selected in the the first game. I was in like. You know, teams that'll be like under 13 A's, B's, D's. I was put in like the E's or something, E's or F. So I was quite far down. And um, and school rugby was quite big at our school. Um, but I didn't, I didn't really know. I just come from a local primary school, so I didn't know too much about the schoolboy rugby. But then, um, so that that's when I was doing the reps as well on the on the Sunday with with a couple of those good guys. Um, and so I was like, all right, well, I'll probably just focus on playing club then. And um, I'd skipped a few school games um, to play for Manly um, because it was better. Because I was picked in the E's, I was like, oh, I'm not very too full of the school. Uh, and then, um, so then from that, I think the school got a bit, a bit put off. I, I ended up making my way out to about the B's or something, but I skipped a few of the games against the big schools and the school was a bit put off. So through my early school career, I was sort of floating around the B's and C's for a lot of times and um, it wasn't till uh, there was just one coach. Uh, they started coaching the uh, under 16s and then went on to coach the first and then next year when I was in the 16s and he sort of brought me up to the, the 16 A's and first, the second and first the next year, which is when I sort of really started actually getting um, some proper game time at school rugby and that. Um, so I guess that maybe didn't have my name out there, I guess, or playing in the lower grades through school in that early doors, possibly. Um, but there's also other good, like really good players around. Like, uh, yeah, Mick Cooper was, was obviously in my ear as well. So he's, he's you know, he's, well, he's a great player. And yeah. he, was, he was always going to be in that, that sort of position and um, uh, lots of other sort of good players about. So <clears throat> probably a bit of combination of the both, I'd say. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess this just wasn't to be, and um, yeah, it was, it was, I wasn't wasn't too disappointed. I guess you know, sort of only played first in my last year, so I wasn't wasn't expecting too much. But uh, yeah, enjoyed enjoyed the last couple of years at rugby at school anyway, which is good fun. 